everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy bringing you the good news that Capacitor version 5 is released and with it Polyline support for the Google Maps plugin among other important updates. You can start updating your applications right now and it's actually going to be very easier than you might think and I'm going to show you how in a second. So this is an important update because Android 13 will become the minimum target for new apps on Android. For iOS, you got to use at least Xcode 14.1 to submit new applications. Then we have this new update on Google Maps. I'm going to show you how this works in a second and what it does. And if you want to update your application, you can use it either from the command line or using the Visual Studio Code um, extension. So. Um, additionally, if you're a plugin author, you can also migrate your plugins, which is really, really helpful. And I'm glad this exists because hopefully uh, this will make the adoption of new plugins a bit faster. If you have an existing capacitor application, which is using version 4 or something else, you can either use the CLI, simply install the latest version and run npx cap migrate, or you can also just use the Ionic Visual Studio Code extension and hit migrate to capacitor 5. So this will try to migrate. Right now, there's actually one plat uh, plugin which is not updated. Okay, nice, thanks for the information. And then we kind of migrate. Uh, and then it's already almost done because this is setting up all the version 5 in here. And it's also changing the native platforms. How can I be sure of that? Well, I did this project under source control. So we can now take a look. It updated the package JSON to all the latest versions. It also updated the build gradle, the gradle properties, variables, my app name, uh, and a bunch of other things. And also for iOS, it uh, removed or changed the entries in here. So the migration should be real, really fast in your case as well. Now that was already pretty cool and you definitely should do this because this will make sure that new applications you submit or updates to your old applications will go through the iOS and Android review and use the latest minimum required versions. But there is more that I wanted to show you. So here we go. Here is my little example of maps and polylines. This is using Capacitor Google Maps and I can draw a nice little polyline and of course my Android application is not synced anymore. Oh, I need to click that button here as well. Yeah, that makes sense. And we have a nice connection from Germany to London and to Wisconsin, heart of Ionic. And what we can do as well is we can of course draw a polygon right here, a piece of pizza in Europe. And additionally, we can make this a perfection with a circle, both iOS and Android. So please, you've seen this example. Don't tell me uh, Google Maps for Capacitor is not working on Android. It is working just as fine as it is on iOS. The code for this is actually pretty easy. It is the same setup I had before in one of my Google Maps uh, tutorials. Now I just had three buttons for polylines which is using the um, types from the from Google Maps actually. So if you check out Polyline, it will always extend Google Maps .polyline options and then Capacitor or Ionic adds a few more options. Actually Capacitor, not Ionic. And same for a Polygon. If you check it out uh, to the Polygon interface, it will also extend the Google Maps Polygon. And finally, we have the circle. Uh, which of course does the circle and you can also remove all of that so if I want to clear my map I can just hit clear if I kept track of the ideas and then my map is clear again so the update to Capacitor Google Maps is really impressive and I know a lot of you have been asking about polylines drawing on the map and yes all of that is now possible also this example was angular but of course you can use anything you want with capacitor and actually the api of the native google Maps plugin is now quite extensive so i'm pretty sure you can do pretty cool things with this plugin at this point so now that we got capacitor 5 what will happen in capacitor version 6 let me know in the comments what you think about version 5 and something that you would like to see in version 6 i'm gonna read through all the comments as i always do and definitely make sure you check out the ionic academy which is my place to help you with not only Capacitor but also Ionic so go check it out ionicacademy.com the place to learn everything Ionic and Capacitor fast and of course hit the subscribe button so you get more of these videos and I will catch you in the next video so until then happy coding Simon.